All right, I'm gonna go inside and uh, see where they want me to pull up at. Let's go from there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got the paperwork. Boom. They let me know what bay I was gonna be pulling into. And I had to walk all the way around this big ass building. Don't make no sense. What it is, what it is. We finna get loaded though, no cow. Bah, 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 bah. I'll be sure to record me bagging into a bay for the first time because this shit is about to be comical. Yeah, this is either about to be a success and just solidify my driving skills or an epic fucking fail. But well, hey, how hard could it be? What day is it again? 14? Yeah, I got that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Got my info right here. So, I'm just here to verify how many pallets they put on, pretty much everything like that. to the gas station. First time getting gas. And we need it. just made it safely delivered my first load um, right now they're um, unloading everything I'm just waiting for him to finish so he can sign his uh, BL and then I'm out um, and I gotta change clothes because it's hot as hell it's like 80 some degrees right now out here in bumfuck Alabama but um, yeah I think I'm gonna go to Atlanta I'm waiting for my dispatcher to see if he got a load for me if my Dispatcher got a load for me, then you know I'm gonna run that. But if not, I'm gonna just drive from here to Atlanta. It's like a two hour drive, two and a half hour drive. Um, because I got a crib out in Atlanta, so yeah. Welcome back to the channel. This morning I got up and um, I didn't have it's Tuesday, but uh, so today's so today I woke up, um, I didn't have any loads booked. So I decided to take it upon myself to get on DAT low board 
and find me a couple loads. So I got two loads. Serious, so good. I ended up booking two loads. I got one load going from um, Noonan, Georgia to Mobile, Alabama. And then I got another load from Georgia, uh, Griffin, Georgia to Tulsa. I mean, I said Tulsa, Tampa, Florida. So all together, we're gonna make about a little bit over $1,100 for these two trips combined. And one's on the way, so it's like, why not, right? Half my trip is gonna be covered to this um, the Mobile, the Mobile, Alabama trip. It's like on the way to Florida. It's like right outside the Panhandle of Florida. So um, that's why I booked that one. And then you know Tampa is just like, why not, right? It's a pretty good rate too. We had to get this first pickup. Both of them are partial loads. Um, one is like plastic containers, and I don't know what the other one is. They said it's like boards or something. But um, I'll update y'all when we make it to the lower point. And, uh, <laughs> Let go! All right, peeps. So, change of plans. Um, that last load I just picked up, it's still going to Mobile, Alabama. But my, uh, my Tampa, Florida load canceled on me because they said that I have not had a dot number within like longer than six months which is I guess one of the requirements which I have I've had a dot number since 2018 but I just got an MC number so I can operate over you know over state lines and shit and basically it resets everything on the uh, federal website which is neither here nor there I provided them documentation but they keep talking about the government website so as my grandfather would say fuck them and feed them beans but found another load um, it's actually about 30 miles north of Atlanta and I'm just south of Atlanta so I'm going north to go grab this load and it's going to um, Fort Lauderdale the good part about that is still heading that way still gonna make some money and you know maximize this this trip bad part is this traffic is a beast 30 miles is gonna take me like I think um, an hour that's the change look at this Good old Atlanta. But I just want to give you guys an update. I'll see y'all when I pick up the second load. Show y'all what they load. And I believe they're loading a forklift or something like that. So, um, and I'm taking that to a Fort Lauderdale. But I'll show y'all how they load it. They're supposed to be like, um, like nailing, nailing blocks down so it won't move in the back of my truck. But I'm gonna show y'all how I maximize these these loads. But I'll see y'all in a minute. What I'm doing right now is I'm sending over my documents to the broker. This shit was so last minute. I don't know if y'all can see my truck where I can, but that means they must be done. Fuck, finish up. Check the fit. Damn, a power line just blew. Truck is in park. Um, how do I fucking do this? Oh shit, y'all see that shit? Yo, this is crazy. Oh, I really want to go forward. My mind's telling me no. So 
still I rise from the other side. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. But I just dropped off uh, my load for Mobile, Alabama, those four long ass pieces. Just dropped that off. Um, it's 11 o'clock at night. So now I got a 10 hour drive to Fort Lauderdale, Florida to drop this forklift off. And then I'm going to Miami to pick up another load. That's gonna be a full load. And I'm taking that all the way back to Dallas. And that's another 18 hour drive, I think. I think it's like 18 hours, so. Yeah, we're gonna see how we can break this up, so. Um, Cause they want it dropped off by Thursday. And guess what tomorrow is? Wednesday. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. But I'm gonna try to get about like a couple hours to sleep in. Uh, after I took down to Fort Lauderdale, and pick this stuff up. And then I actually, I'll probably get some sleep in, like maybe. Yeah, it gotta be after I pick it up. So, uh, yeah, just go from there. We out here at the shipping yard. So quick guys, just came here. He about to unload. Hey, hold on, let me show you. All of this shit to take this motherfucker off. I got my truck way over there. We gotta get it off this flat This a bitch. And I'm not supposed to be touching shit, but I need to get this shit off so I can go get my other load. Things you gotta do to make shit happen. My phone overheated, so now I'm on my camera. But my AC went out in my truck. So here it is. I don't even know what the temp is. Hold on. So I'm in Miami. It is a whole 90 degrees outside. I'm in Davie, Miami. I don't know. I'm like right outside of Miami. So I'm outside of Miami, bro. The AC went out in the car. It's hot as fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. I got to drive all the way back to Dallas with no AC. Stay tuned for the recap after I show y'all this bullshit in the back of my car and the damage to my uh, truck. If you in the box truck gang, if you if you do box trucks, um, you know, stay on your P's and Q's, man. Or you can get a dedicated contract and you can be delivering shit to like from rooms to go to people's houses. Which I was kind of thinking about buying another box truck for that, but that's in another video. Back home, baby, back in Dallas. And I am on my way to drop off this Miami load. Crazy enough, I got another load that I'm about to pick up. That shit sounded so artificial. But <laughs> I ended up finding, uh, we ended up finding another load. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Am I um, I'm dropping this off like by DFW airport. Crazy enough, we found another load because we just picked up another um, load board. And we had another load pick up in Dallas, drop off in Dallas for $350. So um, I'm picking it up today after I drop this load and then um, I'm gonna drop it off first thing in the morning. And then of course I gotta drop my truck off to go get the AC fixed. So I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow as well. But God is good, I get this money. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm tired as shit. Look at my eyes, bro. Now I'm at American Airlines, picking up this last shipment. And I'm actually taking this one home and then I'm dropping it off first thing in the morning. Why am I looking at me? I'm looking at y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Um, it's crazy. I'm, I'm gonna break down all the money that I made 
and um, I want y'all to let me know if y'all feel like it's worth it or not. I don't know. So I'm gonna eventually start hiring people um, and buying more trucks. And yeah, and we're gonna scale this all the way out. But yeah, I'm just waiting for the guy with the pack, the pallet jack. What's good, people? All right, so to go ahead and close this video out, man, we're gonna go over the finances for this week. Um, basically, we're gonna hop over to the computer. I'm gonna show you guys what I made this week, uh, gross. And I want you to let me know, um, I mean, do y'all feel like it's worth it or not? And this is gonna be from May 3rd all the way to May 7th, all right? So that's just five calendar days in one week, Monday to Friday. So let's go ahead and hop over to the computer and I'll show y'all the proof. Desktop, let's go ahead and open the browser. Don't mind this. Uh, here we go. All right, so this is OTR. This is my factoring company. This is who I use. And as y'all can tell right here, Impetus Unlimited LLC, empty number. This is live. So just saying, those Photoshop shit. Go to the dashboard. And last week, I made. $4,775. Year. So, um, let me see. Uh, 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 schedules. Here we go. So, on the schedules, here are my three payouts from last week. Um, the last one got paid because I guess they don't process stuff on Fridays or they don't process it until that next Monday. So um, this one was supposed to, I, I found this one on Friday, these last two loads, that was the 350 and the um, one from Miami to Dallas. And uh, yeah, that, I, processed, I processed that one on Friday. And so it came through on Monday. So, but these are pretty much all of the loads right here. All of the loads. So it brings you to your grand total of four thousand seven hundred and seventy five dollars that's my first five days in business so y'all let me know if y'all think that it's worth it or not um that's not including what i've had to pay for gas and everything like that so um i think i'm gonna wait to do that uh that video at uh towards probably the end of the month after like four weeks so we'll see how everything stacks up be sure to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, I'm going to make a video on why I don't use dispatchers. So if you want to see why I don't use dispatchers, uh, drop a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 25 likes and I'll drop another video next week. So uh, let's make it happen. Let's run it up. Happy trucking. See y'all. Peace.